going to do a quick video walk around of Jerry's 2019 Charger RT, the gray ghost. This is a really kind of an interesting color. It's a solid gray. Um, usually the solids don't make a huge difference to ceramic, but on this particular color, it definitely made it look very wet and glassy. Um, there was a lot of paint correction to be done on the vehicle. Even though Jerry does a very good job of keeping it clean, uh, the car did have a lot of micro scratching on it, um, which the challenging part was working around all these graphics. Um, we'll put a little picture in picture up of what we had to do to, to deal with those. Um, so we ended up spending about 25, maybe 26 hours of paint correction on the vehicle um, before applying the ceramic coating. We also coated all the matte black on the vehicle, darkened it up, enriching the color. The glass is done. The only thing we did not coat on this vehicle is the wheels because they're being replaced with some aftermarket wheels, and I'm sure we'll coat those once they get on the vehicle. Product-wise, we used our Aegis Armors Foam Fury for the cleaning. We also applied our Aegis Armors Black Widow Tire Gel. It's a no-sling. We can put it on in a low gloss or a high gloss. It stays on for about three to four weeks, even with washing. This is something you think you might be interested in doing to your car. Give us a call, 336-570-9790. Typical job time is anywhere from three to five days, depending on the vehicle size, color, and condition when it comes in. The coating that we put on lasts a minimum of five years with very little maintenance. All right, so we're here with Jerry, the owner of the vehicle, and he's gonna give us a little background on the vinyls. Yeah, so the story behind the USS Frankie Evans, um, it was a destroyer during Vietnam War. Uh, actually collided with an Australian aircraft carrier, um, split the Frankie Evans in half. The front half of the ship sank within two minutes, two, three minutes. Uh, 74 sailors had died when that front half of the ship sank. Uh, one of those sailors being my uncle's wife, uh, which is kind of the reason behind the, the tribute car, but also um, those 74 sailors are still not recognized on the Vietnam Memorial Wall. So we're trying to raise some awareness there and, and get them the, the recognition that they deserve. Awesome, awesome. So uh, this is your first time seeing the car. Yeah, uh, what are your it, thoughts after the ceramics it, done? It looks fantastic. I mean, the, the depth and the clarity to it is really, really surprising. Um, I didn't expect there to be that much depth that's been brought out um, by the ceramic coating, but uh, looks, looks fantastic and, and even you know some of the plastic parts the louvers look a lot cleaner a lot uh, a lot better condition for sure yeah we noticed it it really richened up the the tone between the graphics on the car too as soon as we started applying we we're like wow this is really making a difference on how they pop on the gray yeah. Yeah. Really, really really happy with it so far so awesome uh, excited to get it out in some sunlight and see what it looks like yes sir yeah. Yeah, this vehicle also had a bunch of LED lighting done by LED integration, casing the guys did an outstanding job uh, while it was in. We also pulled the grills and replaced those with aftermarket. As you can see the lighting down low and the induction. Underglow on the vehicle. And then they also did this killer rear valance with LED lighting in it. Definitely gives a very F1 look to the car. Works with the brakes, turn signals, and normal parking lights. If you're a show guy, this seems like a must for your Mopar.